ஆராசி பியாரூ அந்தம் தனவுரு சாரே ஹுஷாரு பேகம் பேஜாரு ஹிருதேம்லும் மொத்தம் பாட்டலானே இன்னி மாயி மர்ச்சி பயனவா நீ கர்ல்ப்ரின் கி போய்ப்ரின் கி பாட்ட டெடிக்கேட் ஜேசி அரே நாம் மன்சலும் மாட்டலாம் நீக்கட கணப்பிச்சினேன்னவா வேல் அட்லான்டி அத்புத்தம் என்ன சோங்க்ச மனக் பர்ச்சியம் ஜேசினா வாகத் அப்துல் வாகத் கரண்ணரிருக்கு மன்னத்தோ பாட்டு and we are going to talk lot about Kushi movie பாட்டல் குரின்சி welcome to Telugu Film Industry sir thank you thank you Uh, sir the whole telugu film industry and the people across telugu film industry are big fan of your work with uh, the one song darshana and the whole album in hridayam and uh, how is it to be in telugu film industry My, first of all thank you uh, it's a great pleasure uh, to be here in hyderabad hyderabad is like my second home and uh, again to you know to those who, who are not familiar with me and my voice this is hisham abdul wahab music director of uh, the upcoming film kushi kushi and i am so glad um, that i am here sitting in front of you i think for the very first time i am entering into a telugu radio station fm station giving you an interview for a work that i have done in telugu and it gives me immense pleasure and uh, it's been a long journey i think i need to thank my directors you know especially mr vinish shrinivasan who directed hridayam for which the songs you know got wide spread uh, national recognition and the main reason for me you know sitting in front of you for kushi because uh, the director shiva nirvana garu approached me my three movie makers approached me after listening to the songs from hridayam and i think i'm very fortunate and blessed to do a song for vijay devragona sir and samantha garu uh, and i am very excited just like all of you you know for kushi to come out for the other songs to come out yeah so well uh, naroja nuve has been a uh, immense it has got a immense love across uh, in in all the languages yeah. though uh, there's a no language barrier at all yeah. especially with your compositions uh, to begin with we have darshana song which is uh, which was language not not bound with the language so what do you think the reason is i mean the there is there has been a uh, cut with all the language barriers across we listen to pop music we have we have korean songs that we are listening here we started off with despacito with oh. so uh, we have no boundaries right now which is a good thing for all the across exactly. uh, exactly. composers lyricists so what do you think the reason that uh, broke this i think uh, there is a very common link between if it comes to music beat movies now for example you are saying no the best example i can give is maybe hridayam you know so hridayam has been watched by people uh, you know who, who are not speaking malayalam also you know i've had lot of people who message me saying they watched hridayam for the same example i would say for maybe for rrr you know that film has been watched by a lot of people outside telugu also so i think the common factor is when you are investingly sincerely working on something thinking of how how the normal people would react to something i think that's when you try to crack something very uh, popular so for me uh, being brought up in saudi where there are a lot of musical restrictions i was growing up listening to rahman sa's hindi songs listening to tamil songs so that actually uh, uh, you know gave me uh, insight into how you can make music in a general basis not regional basis so maybe that's why when i'm composing i always think outside the box you know i don't think how the song will be how a malayalam malayali listener would approach i will not think like that how a normal listener would approach so that is the biggest power of uh, i think media of art of cinema and music you know it does not have language barrier so naroja nuve when we were composing itself you know i had this thing in my head we when we are composing we should compose in a way that anybody who is listening to the track should resonate to the track so i think that's how it, it came it's it's there you know it's been there since decades where music composers tried to crack you know for example uh, one time our dsp sir's track you know it's being played everywhere wherever you go so i think it's a uh, it's a blessing from god you know that music composers get so especially with this song the lyrically shiva nirvana garu yeah. has uh, penned this and he has given a great tribute to yes. uh, manratnam garu on all his movies yeah. so uh, how was uh, i mean you understand telugu though you understand I'm telugu learning, right? yeah. you are learning slowly, telugu slowly, yeah. <laughs> wonderful that's a that's a cute thing to hear yeah. uh, well for the person who may, barely understands the language and to understand the soul of the lyrics and put in the effort and the situation so how challenging was it for you mm, i think uh, it becomes less challenging if you have a very supportive director and team uh, 
so for me when uh, shivagaru approached me for the film and when he sat with me and you know tried to uh, make me understand what kushi is all about i started getting relaxed because initially i was very nervous you know i was like just like how you told it is a new territory for me so even though i don't understand the language i was thinking how am i going to make a song you know that can stand the test of time because there are a lot of music composers who have come here you know who speak malayalam and who are not not uh, telugu speakers also who compose music here uh, so i wanted to make a difference i wanted to make a song where even the audience from hyderabad or even the audience from telugu also would enjoy it 100% that was very important for me so i think uh, to an extent shivagaru has helped me because he wrote those four lines na roja nuve na dil se he wrote those four lines immediately i got hooked on to it because that has a very big uh, significance in the film which i am not telling now which is why those lines are there so i insisted shivagaru to write the whole song and actually he has written the so- uh, lyrics for all the other songs also so nobody else has written the lyrics all the songs for kushi has been written by shivagar only i insisted him to do that because it has a very unique combination when we both came on board so generally this happens very rarely a, a, a music director i mean a movie director yeah, writing lyrics writing to lyrics. songs so what was your first reaction when you heard the movie director in itself is doing uh, is writing lyrics to uh, i think uh, uh, i myself only wanted shivagaru to write wow. yeah i told it was your idea yeah it was yeah i insisted him you know because he just gave me four lines and then i thought uh, see this person knows inside out of the whole story and he's bringing up very quirky very unique uh, ideas for the lyrics so i was thinking myself i think this is the person whom i want to work as a lyricist rather than being the director and but he was very hesitant in the beginning shivagaru was telling are you sure isham we'll have someone you know who is monitoring i told no i just want you to write the lyrics because there is some sort of connection because i am i am coming from a different background you know i am i am coming from down south from kerala and it his lines started uh, being Connected. catchy for me so that is what i thought you know what if a normal listener listen to the song and i think from narojan uve it's evident you know it's it's a very uh, the the way he has written has a very commercial line so that is what i wanted to use for kushi wonderful yeah. so uh, the thought the the whole uh, thing that came up and touched people is that the every lyric will connect to the title of maniratnam Manir- Manir- was Manir- this since uh, it was only four lines which was written in the yeah. beginning was this idea there to tri- give a tribute to maniratnam garu from the beginning or uh, did it no i think that eventually uh, uh, happened you know i think we realized it later because uh, shivagaru uh, wrote the four lines and he uh, like i told earlier it's based out of context of the story it's a part of the story of those character and uh, shivagaru told let's let's have these four lines you know uh, because it's very important for the character and then i told okay fine even for me also initially i was like thinking okay is this going to work you know how is this going to sound but then it worked beautifully then for the remaining lines also he wrote it and then when we did the dub for uh, tamil for malayalam and hindi also uh, in like for tamil madan karki sir has written and he used different other films you know so it was very interesting you know and the the very uh, exciting part is uh, actually the whole of the song has all manitam sir's uh, names and it's it just interestingly fits in so even now on instagram i am seeing lot of people who are sending me reels with other film names and so i'm just thinking you know how the creativity turns out maybe this worked as a promotion to people are putting in more titles and exactly, composing again exactly but i think this all eventually happened we never knew we never thought that it would be taken into you know in, into that state you know where people would appreciate it in that form we just wanted to do justice to the two characters of kushi coming from a place i mean uh, staying for few years in a place where uh, movies and songs are restricted mm. maniratnam garu is a is a legendary uh, music director and his movies has been both in terms of visualization and in com- terms of music it has been a huge hit yeah. so how much of impact do you have uh, uh, about his movies in your life i, I think uh, more than his movies it's the music that has inspired me because eraman sir and maniratnam sir's combination has always created magic maybe i have grown i have grown up listening 
to those music you know for example guru uh, dil se you know lot lot of lot of tracks you know ma kannathil muttamittal there are a lot of films and uh, i initially in my school days i was listening to those tracks so the uh, the dream that i as a music composer has is to do music for films uh, that has such a kind of visuals you know such intriguing stories you know such amazing directors so i think i am very blessed now that i am doing uh, music for kushi and that we got to crack uh, you know a song that people have welcomed because i never you know i have not in my wildest dreams that i thought that the song would be uh, definitely I, we were confident in the track we had done our best but rest is you know the audience, in, in yeah. the audience hands so that i i never uh, you know i don't dream uh, beyond that line after you finish your work then it's done but i think it's very overwhelming because even uh, when i landed here in the airport day before yesterday with my wife even the person who drives the car his ringtone is narojan away and when he switched on the fm it's narojan away and in Probably the airport it's us. <laughs> <laughs> thanks thank you even in the airport it's narojan so i'm thinking how people uh, how the audience is celebrating when they get a track that they love and that is something that we need to learn from here super super yeah. so though it started off with telugu it ended up in your native language so how, how much uh, among all the languages which pa- which uh, version do you connect definitely with? telugu and not malayalam yeah. <laughs> no i i i think uh, see when i composed the song uh-huh. uh, my only vision was you know telugu. for making it work in telugu not for any other language because predominantly it's it's a telugu film and uh, the language in which i composed i wanted it to work mainly in telugu and all the other languages are an extra bonus you know because you were santena santano anteno anta okay bangaram so so i wanted that phonetics to sound good in telugu uh, so my i think my favorite track uh, my favorite version if you would ask me as a music composer it it would be first telugu and then all the other versions yeah so uh, a lot of people from different places who don't know telugu language do sing here and those songs are very popular mm. best example is our sid sri ram mm. people do love him so much mm. and your version of narojan uve is of same conviction and people don't believe that you you, you don't know telugu language at all so <laughs> i how... have to i have to really thank uh, shivagaru for that my brother It's, how was I the preparation think, for it i think uh, if i tell that i people will start sweating listening to the whole story <laughs> i think it was around 7 to 8 days of continuous work in my studio back in kochin where uh, we were dubbing for telugu uh, hindi tamil kannada and malayalam five languages a two days we had to keep us a two days for each version so around 10 days uh, i was completely in my studio just standing in front of the mic the director will be there his ad will be there and every two days then lyricist will come they'll be flying like in hindi raki balam sir in uh, tamil madan karki and telugu uh, shivagaru was there in kannada the lyricist who wrote for kannada all these lyricists started coming into the studio and will be there two days in front of the mic opposite to me so every line we were like you know uh, correcting correcting and going i think for telugu i was very fluent already because the dummy version was already done few months back you were involved from the lyrical yeah. part yeah so then when i had to record again it was little more easy you know we just had to record it once again properly but i think i am uh, uh i think the the pronunciation in my in the way that i'm singing i think it's it's slightly getting better i would say you know if you're looking from a different perspective it's 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 a very interesting language <laughs> definitely it yeah. is so a uh, very few people know about your journey uh, into the uh, industry yeah. and into composition we, we, can we know a little bit of insight about that um, yeah so i started my uh, singing i came pred- uh, as a singer first i was part of uh, a reality show back in uh, malayalam um, in a chan college and idea star singer in 2007 i was one among the finalists and then uh, i have a bachelor's in audio production i worked as a sound engineer in dubai and then i started my music career in 2015 for the film salt mango tree which was in malayalam hridayam was my 10th film and then came kushi 
and now I am working on Kushi, I am working on Nani's 30th film and then I am working on Sharvanan's next film directed by Sri Ram Aditya and then I am working on a film called Spark, it's by a new team here in Telugu. So I have four films in Telugu that, that is lined up I and back in Malayalam also I have, I have few films. I think it's better if you get a voter ID here because you are going to settle here <laughs> soon. Actually, uh, to be very honest, this is not to flatter anyone but I think Hyderabad is my second home. So what do you like the best? I think the moment you land, the moment you touch grounds here, you are at peace. Everything that you see around you is is at peace. There is, uh, I mean, back when I'm coming from Cochin, uh, it's it's more peaceful here when I'm landing. And uh, I love the food. I love the way how people treat each other, the love and care, the professionalism they give for each. You know, there is utmost respect, you know, between everyone. You know, it's it's not just for the film people, but there is utmost respect with everything that is handled. I think that is something that we need to look and learn. Our people are Dildar. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, uh, what do you like here as a, uh, I mean, in terms of food? Uh, we, I love the veg food, especially I love chutneys, blue fox, all the veg food here, then Barrow's biryani and busy busy. Uh, I mean, a lot of things are there, you know, and I, I stay mostly in Trident. Even the, for the first initially, uh, for the, all the cushy works and all, we used to compose in that hotel. And I am taking this opportunity actually to thank all those people there, the chef, the staff, the reception who has supported, you know, myself and all the musicians. It, it's been great. It's been great, brother. And I don't think we can pull off something... Uh, um, uh, so much beautiful without people's support and I think Hyderabad him itself has you know stood test for that wonderful yeah so how uh, as a composer how important is it for a composer to travel along with a movie director it's very important if you don't travel actually your music also won't travel <laughs> that's what I've realized actually I'm also learning um, I think initially I was very skeptical when, you know, this so much of travel is involved. You're taking flights and coming to Hyderabad, you have to sit here and compose, you know. And it, it's not a norm. It's not a, no, a common thing because usually the directors have to come to our space and sit because we are having our own space. But I wanted to change it, you know. And I think even now, even uh, if you're talking about all the other famous composers also, they all are, I think, uh, having the same practice of traveling and working. So I think uh, two months back, I, I think I've taken around 20 or 25 flights, you know, from, from Hyderabad, Mumbai, Chennai, recording the songs for Kushi. And I think it's just part of our career. It's just part of our profession. Main thing is to have that presence of mind in composing or in anything that you're doing. So even I tell my assistants, be it, be it wherever you're going, maybe you won't have all the privileges you get. You, you will just have your laptop and software, but just get ready to compose. So I think I have tried to implement that uh, in Kushi. Because when we went to Kashmir, you know, you will have a lot of obstacles there. I mean, you won't get like proper Wi-Fi. You know, you, you might have to climb the mountains to reach the hotel. You'll have to pick up a lot of stuff and all. So all these things are situational problems. And once you surpass that, and then you, if you compose and get the best tune, then it's all done. And the most happiest thing is the next song that's going to come out from Kushi is the song that I sat in Kashmir and composed. So I'm very happy about that. So, yeah, so I was just thinking of that. When a little inside about the song, if we... Uh, you know. <laughs> Most probably Shivagaru will come and punch you. But I, but I think it's, it's, all, uh, it's all about the love. Kushi is all about the love of uh, Vijayagaru and Sam Garu. That's all I've got to say. And it just gets more and more uh, romantic. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. So working with those people, I mean, those two uh, people have proven themselves yeah. uh, starting from the bottom and today they are in the in the topmost positions. So working with them and how, how was uh, it? Definitely, I, I, I'm not sure if I have, if I'm, uh, if I deserve to talk about them uh, based on their success. But um, having shared some moments with them, what I felt is, uh, they are extremely determined about their roles, you know, uh, especially Vijay Garu when, you know, when, when you are talking about Kushi, he is only thinking about Kushi, nothing else. There is nothing else that comes to his mind and comes from his 
mind also he has his only thought would be okay what is what is happening in the song you know how is this song going to uh, you know in uh, reflect in the character that he's going to shoot so it's a very um, very different learning experience for me for because for me even some songs once you finish the composing me and shivagaru we all will listen together so sometimes i have gone to the sets uh, vijay garu will be shooting a scene when that scene break is there Uh, you know i'll sit with vijay garu in in a bench maybe and then make him hear on his speakers and then he'll sing he will hear and tell oh this portion is good hisham this was, so what are what are you going to do here you know uh, uh, and he'll give some inputs so i think it's it's just great you know when you work as a team so i think that's what i've got to i've got to learn to learn from here so uh, f- from listening on the speakers i'm talking to you uh, directly and it's a blissful thing so can can we hear a couple of uh, sure, words from the song sure definitely definitely na kadali karatam lo o mauna ragam nu vele ni amruda pujadilo o gharshane modalainde na sakhi vinu vele ni dalapati ni nenele na cheliyanu vele ni nayakudu nene nuvu yesante yesanta no ante no anta oke bangaru ara se pyaru andam tanavuru sare husharu begam bejaru ara se pyaru andam tanavuru dil mange moru ಪ್ರೇಮೆ ವೇರು ನಾರೋ ಜಾನುವೆ ನನ ನನ ನಾ ದಿಲ್ ಸೇನುವೆ ನನ ನನ ನಾ ಅಂಜಲಿ ನುವೆ ನನ ನನ ಕೀದಾಂಜಲಿ ನುವೆ ಹೂ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮಂಜುಶ್ರೀ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೂ ಸ್ಯಾಂಗ್ ದ ದ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ದನ ನನ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇನ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಡೇ ದಟ್ ದ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಗೋಟ್ ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮ್ so we wanted a, a singer who can you know immediately come and sing those lines and she i, I think it's her debut also where you know her name is being credited i need to thank her also for this and the uh, mixing engineer mr eric pille he is one of the most sought after mixing engineers in india right now and i'm very grateful to have worked with him also for this i think it's the beauty just those uh, humming part has made the whole difference within the two very, phases very true i have to credit shivagaru for that because i was singing and he actually he is the first one who sang tana nana na on the side wow <laughs> yeah i was singing this naro januve and he sang from the side tana nana na <laughs> so it was like a given take wonderful yeah. so uh, about the more songs i mean i heard uh, from the movie team i sneak peeked into the team oh. and i heard it's the whole album hit uh, after a really long time it's going to be a album hit hopefully for, uh, hopefully for kushi and uh, how how are you feeling about the whole thing uh, i'm actually very excited uh, right now we are working on finishing the final mix for the next release you know for the next song uh, honestly speaking i have no idea <laughs> how the people would respond to it but one thing i can say is we have put all our love you know towards that song i uh, my only aim is people have to be happy when they listen to the songs from kushi because even the name itself is that so let's hope for the best Rain.